pretty girl was taking notes in class. She suddenly let out a scream. It turns out that the boy sitting behind her, Kelly, has a superpower. As long as he eats something from someone's body, he can take them into his fantasy. He just didn't pay attention in class. He was fantasizing about going out with the two schoolgirls in his class. As Kelly's fantasies continued, and the two schoolgirls' bodies would react at the same time, one girl suddenly let out a scream. Kelly looked special in the eyes of his classmates. When he bought instant noodles, he didn't eat the noodles. Instead, he eats the wrappers. In front of his schoolmates, he picked up a pencil and ate it. His classmates laughed at him. He was often bullied by the bullies at school. Once he was stuffed into a trash can by the school bully, mom thought the kid was a bit strange. She invited a guru for him. One of his hands was pressed on Kelly's chest. He suddenly coughed. Mom looked confused and asked the guru what he had done. The guru suddenly fell to the floor. Kelly Saturday up from the bed. He didn't realize that he had supernatural powers. His body had changed. His finger was cut by a knife and bled. It healed in a second. Kelly was amazed. He wasn't afraid of the bullies anymore. One day, a school bully came to challenge him again. He punched Kelly in the stomach. This time, it wasn't Kelly who was hurt. It was the bully himself hurt. The bully picked up a wooden stick and hit Kelly on the head. The bully's face was bleeding. He had no choice but to run away. Kelly told his mom about his powers. Mom pinched Kelly's arm. She screamed in pain. But the school bully wasn't going to let Kelly go. One day Kelly was riding his bike home. The bullies were chasing him in a car. The car was going faster and faster. The next moment the car crashed into Kelly's body. The result was the driver died. Kelly didn't want anyone to know about his powers. He told the police that he hid in the bushes on the side of the road without getting hurt. The school bullies continued to come to Kelly's house to provoke a fight. They tied a steel chain around Kelly's house and then drive the car and tilted the house. Unexpectedly, there was a gas leak. Kelly's house was on fire, but his mom was inside. By the time Kelly got there, unfortunately, her mom was burned to death. Kelly cried out in pain. He decided to take revenge on the bullies. Kelly tied the bully's shirt around his neck. The boys in the water immediately fell breathless. Kelly pulls the shirt tight around his neck. The boy who's swimming sinks to the bottom. Two men rush to his aid. This is Kelly's revenge on the school bullies. One day Kelly was talking to a girl the bully liked. The bully got angry and threw a bottle of acid on Kelly's face. But Kelly's face was fine. But the bully foamed. His body shook and he fell down. Then Kelly found a chainsaw in his car. He bled on one of his legs. Because of his supernatural powers, a schoolyard bully's leg was bleeding. The harder Kelly drilled, the more the bully hurt. Kelly saw it at his other leg. The bully screamed in pain. He wanted revenge on the bullies for his mom's death. The bully took a fire extinguisher and sprayed Kelly with it. Kelly fell to the ground. The bully thought his powers had diminished, so the bully's dad grabbed a gun and pointed it at Kelly. He said bye-bye and fired. The result was blood coming out of his head, and his son's face bled. Both of them fell to the ground.